Hey you guys, it is Gabby and welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you guys a rose water and aloe deep treatment mask. I thought this would be a pretty cool conditioner video to make for you guys. So if you are interested in watching, just stay tuned. Okay you guys, so just a quick disclaimer, I did already pre-measure out all of the ingredients because the way I have the camera and everything set up, and the way my stations are set up, I have something totally across the warehouse, so um, it's easier for me to just pre-measure everything out. By the way, the formula to this product will be in the description box below, so definitely check that link out. Okay, so we have here um, already our rose water base and our aloe vera juice. So the base of our product is rose water, and then we also added aloe vera juice in here. So we're using rose water as our base for extra softening to the hair. It also helps to reduce frizz, it adds shine, it also soothes the scalp, and it helps to reduce dandruff. And then for our aloe vera juice, we know that that is a humectant, and it's very soothing, moisturizing, and it also heals. So we're using these two ingredients as our base for our deep treatment mask. Next up we have glycerin and polyquaternium 7. So the glycerin is another humectant that we're using for this product which is also a moisturizer and then the polyquat 7 we're using this to help improve slip, detangling and aid in moisture. Next up we have bamboo extract which will help to smooth the hair out, add shine and increase strength since it is very high in silica. The next ingredient that we are working with here is called hydroxyethocellulose. And this is the, basically just a um, viscosity and rheology modifier. So we're gonna be using this as a thickener and a stabilizer. And it's also for great for water retention. So this is kind of what it looks like. Let me, there we go. This is what it looks like up close. And it's a fine powder, but with these polymers, you wanna be careful when you're adding them to the water phase. You wanna add it under agitation so that there's no lumps that form in the product because if you don't have the right equipment, it'll be hard to revert, or I'm sorry, it will be hard to reverse those lumps. Our next ingredient that we are using is BTMS 25 little wax pellets. And we know that this one is a conditioner, but it also helps with detangling. Um, it's a great emulsifier, it softens the hair, and it washes off easily. Next up, we are using another wax that is called Behentramonium Chloride. So with this ingredient, this is one of those ingredients that you'll normally see in like deep treatment repair mask or any type of mask or conditioner that's gonna help to rebuild the hair or repair the hair. And that's exactly what this does. It helps to rebuild and restore damaged hair. And then it also has a softening effect. So we will be using that today in our treatment mask. Next up, we have acetyl alcohol here, which you can see is another wax. And it's a little bit lighter than the other waxes. Um, this one here is a thickener and it also enhances the viscosity. And it's somewhat moisturizing depending on um, how much you're using and what um, products you have to go with it. And then it is used normally as a cold emulsifier as well on top of a thickener. Next up we have our mango mango butter. You guys, I have been formulating with mango butter a lot lately. I don't know really why, but I just really like it. I think it's just the texture that I love about it. So yeah, I have been formulating a lot with mango butter and I probably will continue to do so. Um, but this one is an effective emollient. It's nourishing to the skin and hair. And it's also high in omega fatty acids, which will help to boost the softness and elasticity in the hair. All right, you guys, next up we have our, basically our oil phase. Well, the waxes that we just talked about are also gonna be in our oil phase, but these are mostly our oils. So what we have in here is a mixture of brassica oil copolymer, sweet almond oil, and argan oil. So the brassica oil, I've also been kind of obsessed with using that in a lot of my deep treatment mask and deep conditioners. Again, I don't know why, I just love it. So this ingredient is going to help to repair thermally stressed hair. It'll strengthen the hair, add shine, and reduce breakage. And then with the sweet almond oil and the argan oil, we're using these as a way to nourish and revitalize the hair. Last but not least, we have our last phase or our cool down phase. And I mixed all of those ingredients in. And you guys can kind of see, I don't know if it'll focus, but it just looks a little weird. So here we have hydrolyzed keratin protein, vitamin E, Optifin Plus, and also um, my fragrance choice. So I decided to add the hydrolyzed keratin in to help improve on um, strength to the hair, revitalizing, reducing breakage, as well as increasing elasticity and just overall reducing hair damage. So that was my goal for creating this deep conditioner to stay with that theme of reducing hair breakage, um, increasing elasticity, and giving strength to the hair. And then our vitamin E, we put this in as an antioxidant and also to stabilize our oils. And then last but not least, the Optifin Plus as our broad spectrum preservative of choice. And it also has good emollient properties. So 
these are the ingredients that we have in our treatment mask today. Alrighty, so now that we got all of that out of the way, we are going to start mixing our phases. So we are gonna take our rose water and aloe juice base and mix in our glycerin and our polyquaternium seven into this mixture. Then the stickiness is kind of a mixture of the polyquat and the glycerin together. They're both kind of those really sticky, thick type of ingredients, but it won't have that effect in the hair on the product since we used it at such a low percentage. That's one other thing. You always want to make sure that if you're going to be using like glycerin or some of those stickier humectants, you don't want to go overboard with it in your product because you'll definitely be able to tell when you try it out on your hair. Okay, now we wanna take our bamboo extract and also go ahead and mix that into the mixture. Really, really good. Okay, so we're gonna set this to the side. The next ingredient that's gonna go in here is our hydroxyethylcellulose, but we're gonna do that under high shear mixing, so we won't do that just at this moment. So now we're gonna take our phase B or our oil phase and add in our ingredients that goes in here. So, so we're just going to directly pour in our behentramonium chloride, get all of that in there really good. We're going to add in our acetyl alcohol next. And then you're going to want to get another clean spatula or something of the sort in order to add in your oils. And then we're just going to drop our mango butter in. All right, so we got our oil phase all ready to get heated up, but we want to go ahead and disperse our hydroxyethylcellulose in here. Um, I'm going to go over to the mixer. I don't, no one's here with me right now. It's like way after business hours that I decided to record this video. So sorry you guys that I can't take you over to the mixer, but I think I have a um, post up on my Instagram and it says BCL tip basically showing you how to mix in the polymers. So if you're interested, just go to my Instagram and look at that post and that's basically what I'm doing for this. All right, you guys, so I am back. I have put it on the heat and allowed the oil phase to melt down and this phase to thicken up. You guys can see that it's thickened up quite a lot. This was the water phase. It is pretty foamy, but that is because I did go in there with a stick blender and just kind of ensured that everything was mixed in while it was on the heat. So you don't have to do that if your product is thickening up, but sometimes that hydroxyethylcellulose is a little finicky, so you just wanna make sure that it thickens up, but you guys can see that this thickened up quite a bit. So we are just going to go ahead and um, get our stick blender and you guys I get this one let me turn it to you I got this one from Walmart so I use this when I'm playing around and you know making little small batches and things like that so you guys can definitely get this from Walmart I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and pour the oil phase in <laughs> You guys see it's getting creamy but I don't lift it up while I'm mixing because you can create extra air bubbles and we don't want to do that. Alrighty you guys so I am back and I have gotten a little bit closer so you guys can kind of see the consistency and the viscosity of this treatment mask. So you guys it is pretty thick and it is really really creamy now you can always adjust it the way you want to if you want it a little less viscous you can always adjust the formula and decrease some of the waxes and things also keep in mind that when you add FAC it'll loosen it up some so that's what we're about to do and you want to also always make sure that you check the temperature I already did that off camera so I know that it's good to go ahead and add FAC in so we'll just add that on in there And then I'm gonna just mix it in real good. 
and you guys see how quickly that viscosity changed but if you allow it to sit long enough it will kind of thicken back up all right so we finished adding phase c in and it kind of changed the viscosity just a tad bit not too too much but it definitely loosened it up some and you guys it's still very 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 warm to the touch so it still has to continue to set up and cool down before you see the true viscosity. So you always want to kind of give your creations at least 24 to 48 hours to continue to set up so that you can see the true viscosity of your creams and your conditioners and things like that. So last but not least, I'm going to add my own little personal touch. And then also you guys, you want to check the pH of your product. I also always do that off of camera because my station is all the way across the warehouse. So... I can't just be keep on moving all of this stuff everywhere but you want to check the ph and the ph of this product is a five so depending on how you create the product if you decide to make this your ph may be higher or lower especially depending on how you change the formula to fit your needs so definitely just check the ph and make sure that it is in a suitable range so you guys the last thing i want to do is just give this a little bit of color because i'm going for that pink rose looking treatment mask i kind of want to add a little bit of color to it so I'm going to play around with this because I really never add color to any of my creations. So we'll see what happens today. All right, you guys. So we got twin sisters here. One name is Rose. One name is Rosetta. Anyway, let me know what y'all think. Which one y'all like best? Rose or Rosetta? I think I like Rosetta just because she got a little more swish to her a little more swirl but y'all let me know who y'all like best but yeah you guys this is what it looks like um let me give y'all a little disclaimer with that little color thing i just had a whole fiasco in the lab okay i messed up everything so i probably won't be playing around with no color no more <laughs> but if you guys want to play around with color then definitely go for it the color I use for this, I really don't know what the name of it is because I spilt, spilt it all and I threw it away. But I did write it down on the formula, so it will be um, on the formula in the link below. That way you guys will have that. Um, but yeah, if you want it a little bit darker pink, I don't know why on camera it looks peach because it's not peach. It's a nice, light, pretty pink rose color. Okay, really quickly, you guys, I went ahead and put some more that I had left into like a black container. So you guys can kind of see the pink color a little bit better. Let me know if this looks a little bit better for you guys, but it is like a nice light pink rose color. So, yeah. But again, you guys, if you do decide to um, try this formula out, you can always swap out some ingredients that you don't want. Just make sure that your formulation um, balances back out and just have fun with creating it. But if you want it to be a little bit darker, you probably just add more. Um, you'll just want to add as much as you need to to get the color that you need to. I think that color that I used was probably water soluble. So that's probably why it looked the way it did when I first put it in. So you'll probably want to put your color in the water phase. The only thing about that is that you won't really know how your, your product is going to come out because you won't know how much color to put in or if you put in too much or too little. So. If you want to just kind of make a boo-boo like me and play around with it, then go ahead and do that. But you guys, let me know what you think about it, how it came out, and let me know if y'all like Rose or Rosetta better. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.